friends and welcome back to my channel. So glad to have you here. Today we are doing a bathroom refresh. We're gonna be spray painting that trash can, redoing those shelves. You can kind of see I started to change the theme a little bit. We used to have just gray and white and I decided that I wanna add some more wood tones in. And then we're gonna add a shower curtain. I actually took down the old one before we even did this before. It was just a white one that had like old paint on it. And then I wanna figure out a new towel solution just to make the bathroom feel a little bit bigger. And then the biggest thing that we're actually gonna be doing is making over our cloth tub and I could not be more excited. So the cloth tub makeover is what I'm most excited about. As you can see, it just kind of has spots where water will puddle and then it creates this yellow discoloration. That's just some soap marks. But there's also some paint and some chips around the edge of the tub and some scratches and dents that I want to fix up as well. And that drain you kind of see right there, it's really gross, it's really nasty. Um, and then just the color itself. The color is just yellow and it makes it look dirty. So I'm excited to freshen this up and get it nice, white, and gleaming. Hi everyone, and welcome to Toilet Talks with Courtney. <laughs> just kidding. But I am on the toilet, but not on the toilet. I'm just on the toilet. Isn't that me? What's that? <laughs> okay, I am doing the first step of the tub, which is I need to do Carbondo. Where all your car repair needs. This is what was recommended for from the guy who makes the kit that I'm using tomorrow, which will be in the same video, to do beforehand for the cracks. Does that make any sense? Basically, I just have to fill in anywhere that's chipped and cracked with this like auto car repair stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that up and apply it and I'll let you guys see how it looks. Okay, so first I have to clean the area. I can just go be in the water wherever I'm gonna be applying this. I'm just gonna spray down this area. And wash it off. All right, so after I have cleaned the area, I now have to sandpaper it down with an 80 grit sandpaper. And then I don't have like an official mask, so I'm just gonna use one of these, because it just makes us feel better, even though it doesn't really work. Just kidding, calm down. Anyways, so go ahead and sand. Let's go. I didn't say let's do this. <laughs> Sanding's just making it more chippy. <laughs> so I don't know if I need to sand like chipped areas or if I just fill those. I just opened this can and it smells so toxic and I am in the world's smallest bathroom. So pray for me. Just close that so I don't die. I'm supposed to take this hardener. I saw somebody like open the lid. Flip it. Ah, I don't know. Okay. They let the air up, but I guess I'm not gonna let the air up. Like I have to knead it. It's like all thoroughly mixed. Oh my gosh, it smells so bad. Okay. If I start to see stars, is that a bad sign? So I don't need a ton. From what I saw on the YouTube. It's so, so bad. Okay. So, from what I saw, people had like a little puddle of it. And then all they did was take this and put like a line down the center. And that's how much I guess you need. And then you have to mix it until there's no streaks in the color. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to film this. I also don't think I have a million years to do this. So it's pretty quickly from all the videos I watched. Oh my gosh, did I mention that this stinks? Okay. Oof, oh wow. Okay. Um, let's start up here, can you guys see that? Mm 
probably should have done the inside before I did the outside, right? So I don't lean over this. Yeah, I probably should have. Already setting. So done. Oh my gosh, it's already setting. <laughs> no, it's already set. I did not work that fast. Okay, I'm gonna just start over because I only got to this section of the tub and I have more spots. Okay, I have to mix another batch. Okay, I got the rest applied, but I didn't do it on camera because I didn't have as much time. Obviously, it smells so bad in here, so I need to get out before I like pass out or die. There's no tuning back now. It's so stinky. Good morning. It is tub day. I woke up early this morning and I watched the video on again because it was all my mouth. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. My kids are gone. I'm ready to go. Yeah, I, I watched the video again to make sure I know what I'm doing. I still have to, oh, I have to double check a couple things actually. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start by washing the tub so I can at least, I need to do something because I'm sorry to freak out. It's real, it's real. And this is like a big thing to like not wanna mess up you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash it and then feed the baby and then I'm gonna do this. The only time you'll ever see me use this product. I'm gonna let that sit for a couple minutes, but what I've already noticed is I bumped into this a bunch of times. So I have to be careful when I'm doing the tub not to do that. Oh, there's two of me. Okay, so I have washed the tub. My tub has never felt so clean in its life. It's a little bit of a blue tinge, which I think I just left the Lysol on a little bit too long, but it's gonna be covered, so I'm just praying that that's okay. Um, and I'm just taping up the faucet right now, and then I'm about to do the drain haul. I bought a new drain because ours is corroded, and I just went to go take the other one out and a piece of it snapped off. Um, so unfortunately we're gonna have a beautiful tub and a really ugly drain because <laughs> I don't wanna deal with all these plumbing problems, so I'll show you. There she is, and there's supposed to be four of those things in there, and uh, I got rid of that one. Oops. Yeah, so just taping up this. Oh, it looks like, who's that guy? Gizmo or something? It looks like that. Anyway, I'm just taping this up, and I'm gonna tape that up, and then we're gonna start, and I'm so scared. Right, here we go. Oh my gosh, dude, Jesus, be with me. Oh shoot. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh. Guys, this was so stressful. You're gonna see in a bit, like, I was so red and just sweating and just really wanting to make sure I did not screw this up because it just felt like such a big process. But I wanna tell you guys, if you've been thinking about doing this or if you've even heard of this product, I highly recommend it, honestly. It's a fantastic product. It was very easy to use. I did watch the videos a bunch, um, so that really helped. And then like I say later, I have notes that I've written as well as, again, watching the video while I'm doing this to help me. But basically, I'm just gonna go ahead and walk you guys through this, but I highly, highly recommend going to look up the main guy's videos um, of how to do this yourself. Don't just take it from this video. But as you can see, you pour the product after you've mixed it for 10 minutes, let it sit and then mix it again and the tub has been cleaned and patched and all that. Uh, you pour it on three sides of the tub and you leave that front section open. That's basically just so that way you're able to work around um, the rest of the tub. And then you let that all fall. It falls very quickly. You wanna pour it heavy so it does that. You're gonna use the whole bucket on all three sides and then you just start scooping up all of the excess around the bottom and you can see you, you can even just lift it up a little bit up the wall. You don't wanna go fully up the wall 
um, because this will mess with the way that it looks but if you need to you can um, pull it up a little bit as what I'm doing here and then if you have like that spot right there you can see is a little bit further more than halfway up the wall and so you have to scoop it and then let it drip from the top again So having patience, you let it all fall down the wall the whole time. You really don't want to mess with it once it's like on the walls. Um, and then you just scoop. You scoop all the excess back into the bucket because that's going to be used for the front of the wall. And then I would just take some excess and put it in this red Solo cup and pour it where I felt like it was a little bit thin on the wall or yeah, where it just needed a little bit extra. And all I'm using is the side of the box actually and I put tape around it to use as a scoop. And I'm just going around the edge of the tub anywhere that I missed that it didn't fully fall over the other side. Um, and then I'll even be using a roller later to get that, you'll see. But yeah, just going around, checking the tub. As long as you work quickly, guys, you can mess with this product. It's when you start to get to, you know, the 45 minute hour mark that you don't really want to mess with the walls as much. So I've scooped it all up and now I'm using that to pour on the front of the wall. And yeah, I will just be making sure that it fully covers and letting that all fall down and then checking over my work. So if I ever need extra product, I'm just constantly taking that from the bottom of the tub. Like I said, you don't want to mess with the walls. Just taking that excess product because it's just constantly pouring down. It's not quick or anything like that, but it is coming down the walls and I will be constantly scooping out the bottom as you'll see. I also will say that I did put paper completely around the floor. Again, if you're doing this, I highly recommend you look at the original videos from the Ecopel 2K if you just search that on YouTube. Um, he has his own videos and he like explains from beginning to end and I specifically watched the one on a clawfoot tub so I will link that down below and their newer kit includes a roller now they didn't used to do it this way but it makes it so much easier and basically you're not really like painting with it you're more pushing the product around so I'm just doing this to cover the base of the tub as well as any of the spots on the top that didn't get fully covered and yeah just scooping up excess product on the bottom and putting that over the sides he the way he says it is you're not painting with this you're just more pushing the product around which I know here it looks like I'm painting but believe me there was a lot of product on and it was more of like a push so I just go around the edge of the tub and make sure that I got all the spots that I may have missed Once you feel like you have all the product good, then you use a hair dryer on high heat and you just go really quickly all over the tub just to pop any bubbles that might have formed. And then um, I felt like there was still excess product, so I used the roller to push that product from the back of the drain to the back of the tub and then scooped it all out into this red solo cup. Basically at the end he says you should have about a full solo cups worth, just about a cup's worth of excess product. But this was the hardest part I found was knowing when the bottom was done because the product again on the walls is constantly running down and so I felt like I had it good and then it felt like it was pooling so I would do this again where I'm moving it to the back away from the drain and then scooping it and moving it back away. And then again, once you feel like you have it actually done, then I did go back in with the hairdryer. I don't show it here, but I went back in with the hairdryer uh, and popped any excess bubbles that I saw. Okay, I'm sweating. I'm red. That was so stressful. Um, I watched the videos like 10 times, maybe more. I took notes three times. I watched the video while I was doing it. And now that I've done it, I'm like, oh yeah, like everything he said makes sense. I could do this again in a heartbeat. But doing it the first time, it's just like everything's in your brain. It's like I have limited time and oh my gosh, it's so stressful and I want to make sure it's perfect. And so I know what I would do differently. But I will say, 
it seems to be an awesome product so far and I'm really happy with it. So if you guys want a little sneak peek, <gasps> she white, she pretty. Um, yeah, so unfortunately the kids were supposed to be gone all day at Brad's parents' house, but Brad's cousin's there and he was sick, like a runny nose. And so the kids came back. So we have to try to keep them from not touching this tub. And when you open our bathroom door, it hits against the tub. And so I'm like, do I just sit here for like 24 hours and keep them out of the bathroom? Uh, yeah, so that's fun, but we will get through. Oh my gosh, I'm just like picturing all the children and how they're kids and they're gonna run in here. I'm so nervous for my beautiful tub because it takes 24 to 48 hours to cure. So I pray for us and also pray that I keep the cat out of here. Oh my gosh, I'm already, I'm like more stressed now that it's done. I thought I'd be less stressed now that it's done, but I'm really, really happy. Ah, I'll show you a close up later. And just remember to not look at the drain, but oh, I need to go eat. And this is what it looks like around me. <laughs> but I finished it within the hour, so yay. And in case I forget to tell it or link it, that is what I used. Ta-da. It's everywhere in my notes. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have finished the tub, which I will show you in a second. I have scrubbed basically every inch of this place, places that have never been touched before. Uh, yeah, it was not pretty, and I decided just to skip past that for you. So you just saw me cleaning the shelves, lovely, just a little bit of dust. Uh, but now we're gonna go ahead and put everything back in and see what we think. Brad's listening, so you can tell me, Brad, but I have the radiator cover off right now. And it makes the bathroom feel much bigger, but I would have to paint it, which means that... Mm, I don't know. Anyways, for this video, I'll put the radi radiator cover back on, but just so I can finish the space and show you guys, and you don't have to wait any longer. Uh, but this is a thought, guys. This is a thought, so keep watching on my Instagram in case I do that. He said yay. So here is the tub once it has fully cured. It's a thing of beauty. It is so shiny and so nice. I didn't. I don't think I showed, I'm not sure, but I also did, the drain does get taped when you are doing this. So there is obviously no product going down the drain. Just wanted to clarify that. But guys, all anybody could say when they saw it in person was, oh my gosh, it's so white and it is so shiny, but in the best way possible. I'm so happy, so in love with it. It turned out phenomenal. I would highly recommend this product, you guys. It seems really scary, but as long as you do the research and are informed, it's really simple. Okay, let's test this room. Oh! It's so lovely! It feels bigger for some reason, maybe because I'm not like disgusted. <laughs> Guys, it's done. Also, I really don't like sitting in it because I don't want to use it ever again. <laughs> it's too nice. But it's done, so now we can go ahead and do the, if you watch Slurry Girls, the final touches. Let's do it. Let's do it. So smooth.
the toilet talks with Courtney. I'm not making that a thing. Okay, so I was filming the reveal and then I realized, oh, I bought shower hooks and I need, not shower, towel hooks and I need to hang those up. So we just installed, you can kind of see it here, I'll show you a close up later, but just as a big one of these, um, a toilet paper roll holder. Normally we used to have a basket there and now we have the basket up there, but I figured this was nicer. Uh, and I got these to match for towel hooks because we normally have the towel on the back of the door, which if you watched the beginning of the episode, you will have seen that. Um, but I feel like it just makes it cramped when you're really, when you're in here and because we're trying to resell this house, I want this to feel <laughs> as big as possible because like I can touch both walls with my hands and that's both ways <laughs> and like that's our bathroom. Uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and install these, but they do have a no, a drill free option. So it's basically like command hooks and glue. Um, and I'm really tempted by that option because it's a lot easier and a lot faster <laughs> and I need to get this done because we have one bathroom and I've been trying to keep the kids out of it for most of the day. So I got, I have to finish this, but ugh, I just feel like if this were to fall off the wall, and chip my pretty new tub, I would be so upset. But I really despise these anchor plugs and I don't, I don't have time to run out and get the good ones. Anyways, so my wiseness tells me to dr drill it in, but I'd really love to use this option. And I'm also just thinking for the homeowners who have to take this off the wall, I feel like this is gonna peel off the wall like glue on the wall. I just, I feel like that's not a good idea. So I have two of them. I'm probably gonna like put them up. Oh my gosh, <laughs> like this kind of thing. Um, so let's do that and then I can be done. Yay! something fell inside of the wall. I don't know what it was. I don't really want to know. Okay, let's go ahead and put these on. I'm excited. Did I say I was excited? I have to use this tiny thing to screw this. No. the bathroom refresh it feels so good oh so good so fresh so clean you guys oh I love it I love it so much and now I've got to let my kids use it okay guys thank you so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe let me know what your favorite part of the refresh was I know what mine was <laughs> sorry that I do that it's a thing between me and my sisters um, <laughs> thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in my next room refresh whatever that is Bye, guys.